Hey everybody, as you can see, I'm wearing a Pokemon hat and headphones. I had a joke that I made in my last video that I tried doing for this, and it failed, and the video failed, and so now we're doing a webcam instead. Welcome to my room. As you can see, my topic today is going to be Pokemon. I'm really sorry I didn't clear this with you, Kristen, but this is the first time I'm getting to sit in front of my computer all week. There's lots of art forms that I could discuss about that my whole family does, we're all some artist in some way, shape, or form. But I'm choosing video games just because it's one of the things I'm going to be most passionate about, in all honesty. Especially Pokemon, which I know is going to be weird for some of you. But Pokemon kind of was released when I was in elementary school, and for me, I wasn't necessarily one of the cool kids. So when Pokemon kind of became a thing, it was one thing that kind of bonded me with literally the entire class. I finally got to be part of something. I was finally passionate about something as passionate as a nine-year-old would be. I mean, I was able to talk with people that I never would have talked to if it weren't for that. And it was one of the lessons where I learned, like, you don't have to... Sorry, that was my ringtone. You would be able to talk to anyone and everyone and play games with them it made my best friend and I even closer, you know, and then N64 was a thing. We played Pokemon Snap together all the time, even though it was a one-person thing. She kind of got really annoyed because I hogged the controller, but I was like, you live with it, so my turn. But, like, we would we would play Pokemon out by the park because she would always want to be outside, and I was like, I want to play video games. But that kind of thing kind of kept following through, even though it started losing, like, it's full momentum with the population in a sense, it kind of stayed with me and I kind of followed through with that passion a little bit and I kept playing it and had friends who kept playing it as well. And I kind of dropped off about midway through middle school or so only to, toward the end of high school, want to get back into it again. And I found all those friends that were still really into it that I never even talked to before in high school. Like I was like, oh, you play? That's super awesome. And it's a little bit more than that. Now that I'm 27 and it's kind of weird, like, you know, a lot of people are like, you're 27 you're still playing? I have, like, 30-year-old friends in their 30s and even some in their 40s who have liked it since it first came out as well. I used to work with kids, and now I have a nephew and niece who are both getting into Pokemon, and it's now something that I can touch up on because my sister never played it. My brother only played it a little bit just to see what it was. But I, they, they're learning Pokemon cards, and my nephew loves it. And it's one of the things that's tying us together. So it's not just friends anymore, it's family. And the show taught so many lessons about getting along, or perseverance, or whatever you want to call it, even though Ash kind of sucked. I mean, so it, it is something that I'm very passionate about, and... It's windy. There was a storm yesterday. It's really cold today, and I'm hearing noises. There's things happening in my house. My house is creaking. But yeah, so for me, Pokemon, Pokemon kind of wins my heart a bit. So that's why I'm choosing Pokemon, and it keeps me happy. It keeps me from hating people. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, and I think that for me personally, I'm not saying it's for everyone, but I mean, it's it's gotten me closer to people in general and um that's why i'm choosing it over everything else that i could be talking about for hours on it so uh thanks for listening